everybody, welcome to the Sweat Corner. So I started with every sun sunscreen on my sister's face. This is SPF 50. You guys know how I love sunscreen, like it's the bomb.com. You guys should get it, especially for girls with oily skin. It is the one. I found it in clicks. You can also get it in this scam. So get yourself that sunscreen. It's literally under a hundred bucks. And it's not like greasy and anything. My sister really enjoyed having it on her skin. And then I followed that up with the Revlon Prime Plus Primer. The mattifying one with the blue cap, of course, as you can see there. And I put that on her skin because in this segment we're testing out that primer specifically. Um, yeah, it's very nice and mattifying because she has oily skin. I wanted to try something different because she always complains about like water running down her face and stuff. And then I went in with foundation. Now, guys, my sister mixed foundations in like a bottle, and I just use all her foundations because she's not like my skin um, shade, and so I have nothing that will fit her. And so I used that foundation of hers anyway. I just I don't I can't tell you which one it is, but I know it was very. It's like a very normal to like buildable foundation and also very skin like as you can see that's what i used and then at the edges of her face or parameter of her face i used the nyx um foundation uh because i really fit her in with just right with all her i don't know what you call this concoction of hers that's called the foundation and then i blended everything in seamlessly she's just making me laugh and all of that and i'm trying to explain exactly you know that she's dark and her parameter and then i went in with the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer because guys we're trying to make everything stay and like again we're testing the revlon primer so i apply that and i don't even know what shade of concealer that i used on her face i don't even remember every time i think i'm gonna remember I like forget so anyway there we go um she's just there making jokes and stuff but i put that concealer on her face and then I blend it out with a mini brush and then I follow it up with a beauty with a blender just a normal blender that I found in clicks like old-fashioned like nothing extra like you know all of that so I blend that out and I make sure that everything is blended properly and that I use I'm using a damn beauty blender so let's not get that you know let's not forget that you need to use a very damn beauty blender but not that water runs out just damp and then I follow that up with the Revlon candid foundation I think this is in the shade Coco now guys I didn't think it was gonna turn out to be this dark for this contour but I managed to properly blend it in. It took a while to blend it in. Um, you blend it in seamlessly with her skin because I, yay, yay, this is darker than I thought. But I managed to make it work and blend like no one's business to make sure that everything really like. I went in with two separate brushes and a blender to just make sure I don't have any fine lines and all of that stuff. After I was done, I then followed that up with the Yardley Translucent um, Setting Powder. I like the setting powder under her eye. Um, I realized while doing my sister's face that she doesn't actually have a, a, like her whole face, not oily, she has a combination skin. Uh, more in the center of her face is a bit like drier and then the parameter of her face is oily. So I proceed with that Yardley loose powder, just setting her under eye, um, the, the top of her lip, the, that's also very oily. And like I said, I'm not baking, I was just setting those areas and I brush everything off. Um, when I was done, I realized, you know, the rest of her face is oily, so I decided to set her face using the Black Opal loose powder. Now this is like a nice translucent powder with a hint of a tint. Again, it looks like I am applying a lot but really it's not and it's so beautiful like I apply once and then I just go over with the blender thingy that I'm using just to blend all over her face once I'm done I then started doing her eyebrows I realized her like 
much I like her eyebrows just the way that they are and she also likes them just that way so all I did was draw a little bit of a line underneath to darken them and then I just continue to brush them up and I used a little bit of my um, got to be glue spray just to darken them um, just to lay the uh, eyebrows and then when I was done I just lay them right back in place and I just elongated the one um, eyebrow that was a little bit shorter than the other one that's basically it I like the natural look on her she likes it on her and I wasn't going for a whole full full glam face thing so one time when I get the chance again I'll do her face and I'll probably like do her eyebrows but for today, um, for this specific day, what I did was just enough and she liked it. And then I went in and primed her lid with the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Oh guys, I really love that primer. She's an oily face, so I wanted really the eyeshadow to really sit nicely. And then I just applied that all over her eyelids. And I used a brush. Oh, I just want to remind you within this time that you know when you apply product on a client that please use brushes. I know I used my hands with the um, sunscreen and the concealer, but it's because it's my sister, you know. She knows my hands are clean in a sense. And then I went in with a smudge perfecting concealer and I just lined her eyebrows, even though they were not properly like drawn out on that. I still wanted to create a, like a nice defined line under her eyebrow so yeah there you go that's basically why i go in and do that and then when i was done with both the lids i went in and then i used the huda beauty Obset electric obsession palette guys this palette is the bomb.com when did i get this palette i think i got it off of amazon was it ebay one of the two uh but yeah it is just like it's literally for a night out or we want to make a statement type of eyelid it's like eyeshadow it's just beautiful i just i stand like i cannot help myself anyway so because my sister loves blue i went in with uh, a blue shadow uh and then i didn't even realize how hard it is like filming while like doing someone's makeup so the camera somehow died in the middle of it and so now yeah that's basically what you're seeing because the power saving thingy like yeah got in effect and the camera shut off and then anyway while you're seeing me i'm set i put a bit of powder under her eye because i realized that there is um um what do you call it there is um shedding from the eyeshadow when i was applying and then at the edges of her eye i just went in with a darker blue that ended up looking more purple than dark but I like the combination, so I kept to a very like simple eye, and then I just ended up like blending out the eye. On that left eye, I went a little bit up to the brow, but yeah, I only realized that towards the end of the video, so I ended up fixing it at the end when we were fixing everything. And then when I decided to like go in with an eyeliner, I literally just used my gel from my eyebrow gel from signature it's very nice it's smooth it goes on very nicely because mr doesn't like lashes and she didn't want lashes on this day although she ended up regretting not wanting lashes because she's like she looked at me and my other sister wearing lashes she was like i also want lashes anyway so yeah so i gave her the mascara to put mascara on for herself and i just gave her a wing for a bit of volume you know so she ended up doing that putting the mascara on nicely herself and then when she was done i brushed off everything um as you can see how cool it looks and then i went in with the nyx sweet chicks matte blush oh i love this blush oh, it's so pretty available in clicks by the way Ed grove only so i went in with a blush just to blush up her cheeks a little bit and then i ended up following up with the highlighter from revlon the sunlit dream it is so pretty but ooh, i got so heavy-handed i like overdid it with the highlighter when i was applying it as you can definitely see go too happy trigger happy is what you call this whole situation um yeah and then after i finished with the highlighter i let her put um lip gloss on a lipstick she of course she loves blue so you're seeing blue this is a beautiful lip gloss guys that dries matte i have no idea where she got it from uh but yeah it's still a beautiful matte like lip i also did it myself you'll see it in the next video once she was done i 
sprayed her with the setting spray and then just ended like proceeded to blend the heck out of her face with a beauty bl with a blender so I can blend that whole you know overdone highlighter into her skin and this is the finished look that's basically how that looks I like the way that it turns out she was happy with the way that everything turned out <laughs> anyway that's basically that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna add a few pictures of her in like real like natural light so you can see how beautiful it turned out she's not putting a cap guys thank you guys so much for watching